Alright guys, here we are. Looking on the inside, let's see. I took out the lower cushion of the front seat as well as the passenger seat here. So now you can see my Flightline Interiors carpet kit, which is running right along here. There's the footwell for the passenger in there, and this is just held down in Velcro. So let me see if I pull it up here. going up underneath my seat back and that's it so that's what that looks like really nicely done Abby does a really nice job making these kits and she'll do custom stuff for you too I had a couple things done that she uh, helped me out with all right here we are up on my RV8 man of war and here you can see the footwell uh, for the passenger's right foot, normally, you know, it's just this aluminum here that Vans has. Some guys put some grip tape and stuff in there. In this case, I'm using the Flight Lines carpet kit in there to kind of finish this all off. And if I zoom back out here, this floor in the rear part, so this is where the passenger's uh, bottom cushion goes. This is a two-piece floor. It's uh, this left-hand side that goes all the way up there is one piece and then the right hand side is one strip here basically allows you to get it all in uh, together and this is blind riveted in place so all these blind rivets here all the way around so the idea is that this is not removable uh, without drilling out all those rivets some pilots uh, have gone the extra mile and did uh, nut plates with screws where all of these blind rivets are here that you can see so that's a lot of net plates. It's a lot of uh, a lot of extra work. Some guys thought it was uh, necessary and wanted to do it because they thought they may need to remove this floor at some point. I just uh, decided that I didn't want to do all that extra work for the potential of removing these floors. That being said, there is some space under here that can be utilized for things that you may want to have access to down the road. And so what we came up with was these panels right here this is normally one solid piece of aluminum here that's blind riveted around we created an access panel here you can see the uh, hinge line right there and then one cam lock uh, quarter turn screw here so let me grab my screwdriver open that up and this won't stay open without me holding it so let me do it this way and there you can see that access space down in here that um, normally you wouldn't have any access to without removing the floor. And uh, in that case, either my case, drilling out all those rivets, or if you took the time to put all the screws in, you would have to remove all of them to get access to this area down here. So this, this space down here, really nothing going through it except for this uh, cable that you see right there. That's the rudder cable. And... Uh, we use this space right here, and you can see my number two comm antenna right down here. So if I need to remove the antenna or the cable, easily access to it right there. This uh, black hose is the vent for the passenger that comes off the right wing on the bottom. And then uh, import more importantly here is a Skyview network hub. So that's just a hub that got screwed to the sidewall there. And it has five ports for D9, uh, D sub, a nine pin D sub connectors, and that's what these Skyview uh, cables are. So those are all labeled uh, one from the hub, one goes to the um, air ink, one goes to the uh, comm radio, and so on and so forth. So that's just a daisy chain type thing for the Skyview network. But the, the over idea is that this whole area now I can utilize it for. Uh, these things here without having to remove the floor gives me quick access if I need to work on any one of these cables remove my antenna work on the vent and so forth so we did that on the right side as well as the left side I just don't have the carpet pulled up on that side as well uh, and the panel right here is just uh, the same uh, aluminum thickness and I ran some aluminum angle here uh, lightweight stuff riveted to give it the structure and uh, it closes down 
one turn and I'm back in shape for that. Carpet kit covers that up and don't even know it's there. And uh, the structure's there, makes super easy access to that area that normally you wouldn't have uh, access to. If you do it by plans, all this is riveted in with blind rivets and you would have to drill all those out to get access to that area right there. If you have the screws like some guys do, you would still take out all those screws to remove this panel to get out. This is just one screw, one quarter turn, boom, you have access to it. Um, don't have a ton of stuff and I can't remember exactly what I had on that side. I think I have another network hub over there. Uh, part of my stuff for the autopilot servos, maybe the trim in that one, but uh, it gives you access to all that. So uh, obviously not required to have this stuff, but it sure does make it nice to utilize some of that space that you don't have uh, normally have access to and uh, making it super easy with a single turn there. So, all right guys, that was one more uh, video on a, a modification I did the RV8. Um, again, do your due diligence, do your research, do your planning and understanding exactly what you're cutting into. Uh, I'm not an AMP, I'm not a professional, so uh, make sure you do your research before you do any of these modifications. Uh, if you like these videos, please click the subscribe button. Uh, we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. And uh, click the little bell icon, and that'll let you know when I put a new video out. Uh, we should have one coming out here, uh, a couple more that are flying. And as the weather gets a little better here in Chicago, we've had pretty crappy weather. It's cold and windy today, so not doing uh, much. Um, yeah, so uh, that's it. If you guys got any comments, questions, uh, want to see something specific, let me know. Otherwise, uh, fly safe, and uh, we'll uh, see you on the next video. Bye.